بسم الله والصلاة والسلام أي على خير الخلق الله محمد بن عبد الله صلوات الرب والسلام عليه as a nation that believes in Allah and follows the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we believe in everything that came in the Quran and everything that has been brought to us in the authentic sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and we follow the understanding of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een and may Allah forgive us of our shortcomings in these affairs but this is our minhaj, this is our methodology and we believe as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam informed us that it is a negative trait and characteristic to divide into groups and sects and ahzab meaning um, different parties and sects in the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, we are ordered to be one Ummah. Allah subhanahu wa taala says, "Wa atasmu bihabli la jamian, wa la tafarroku," and hold ye all firm to the rope of Allah, and do not divide. And the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "If tarakat al Yahud ala ihta wa sabain farqa." وَإِفْتَرَكَتَ النَّصَرَ عَلَى إِثْنَتَيْنِ وَسَبْعِينَ فِرْقَةٌ وَسَتَفْتَرِكُ هَذِهِ أُمَّةَ عَلَى ثَلَاثٍ وَسَبْعِينَ فِرْقَةٌ كُلَّهَا فِي النَّارِ الْوَاحِدَةِ قَالُوا مَنْ هِيَ يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ قَالَ مَا أَنَا عَلَيْهِ وَأَصْحَابِي and this hadith was uh, is a sahih sound hadith وَأُرِدُهُ الْعِرَاقِ فِي تَخْرِيجِ إِحْيَا and in this hadith of the Prophet wasallam, there are immense benefits that we gain from the scholars. But I want to read a very brief statement by Shaykh Rabi bin Hadi al-Madkhali, Allah Ta'ala, related to this hadith in his book, um, Shara Sunnah li Imam Babahari, his explanation of the book, called... Uh, Naam. So the Shaykh said, وَالشَّرْ هَذِهِ الْفِرْقَ الْرُوَاثِذِ وَالْخَوَارِجِ الَّذِينَ خَالِفُوا أَسْحَابَ مُحَمَّدٍ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ فِي أَقَاعِدِهِمْ وَمَنَاهِجِهِمْ بَلْ تَعْنُوا فِيهِمْ وَكَفَّرَ الْرُوَاثِذُ أَسْحَابَةَ الْكِرَامَ إِلَّا نَفْرًا يَسِيرًا so the Shaykh said in relation to the famous hadith about uh, the iftiraq or the division of the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentioned that the worst of those who divide this Ummah, the worst of those people who divide it into sects and parties and in fact different creeds are the Ruwafid Shia and the Khawarij, those extremists who make takfir or declare other Muslims to be uh, to be apostates because they differed with them or because they fell into the major sins or for the various other reasons or because they believe the leaders do not rule by what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed and so they declare them to be disbelievers but in fact there is immense amount of tafsil immense amount of details regarding this issue which the scholars of Islam, the scholars of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, have detailed in their books of creed and in their books of fiqh. And so these two groups, as Sheikh Rabi said, he said, the worst of this, of these, those who divide the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the Rafid, the Rafid Shia, and we know, and we're going to explain why, and it's it's uh, very explicitly stated in his statement. Well, Khawarij, those who make, who declare other Muslims to be apostates, who differed with the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in their aqidah, meaning their creed, and in their manahij, in their methodology for giving dawah and understanding the religion, and 
even they slandered or uh, spoke ill about them, about the companions of the Prophet wasallam. the Khawarij made takfir of them, the Ruafid also made takfir of them, you know, declared them to be disbelievers. This is the companions of the Prophet wasallam, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in. And so the Ruafid, they made takfir of the Sahaba, except for just a few individuals amongst them. So in this, we learn an immense, immensely important aspects of our creed. That our creed is based upon the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the understanding of the companions radiallahu ta'ala an and that we strive our utmost to follow them in creed, and we f- follow them utmost in trying to strive in understanding their fiqh, their jurisprudence, and following them in that. And we strive our utmost to follow them in their manners. And we strive our utmost to follow them in our methodology of understanding the religion and our methodology for giving da'wah and and propagating the religion. And this is in direct opposition to what the Khawarij believe and what the Ruafid believe. Because as we said, that a pillar of the Ruafid Shia is that they declare the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in, to be disbelievers and to be of those who distorted the Quran. And they don't believe in the Quran. They believe the Quran has been tampered with. That ayats have been left out, and there some amongst their twelve imams are the ones to complete those uh, verses, or that the Mahdi will come and complete it, and uh, in uh, all of their other various distorted and wicked heretical beliefs that they hold. And they also believe in the infallibility of their imams. All of these things go against any nas, anything which is an authentic test, text from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, or a statement of the Salaf al meaning those like the Sahaba, the Tabi'in, with Taba'i Tabi'in. So the Ruafid, they differ with Ahlul Sunnah. They differ more, most importantly, they differ with Allah subhanahu wa taala, and they differ with the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and they have cheated mankind and those who follow them from the message of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and they believe that the angel Jibril made a mistake in delivering the message to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and they believe that the message should have went to Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, uh, that the message should have been to Ali ibn Abi Talib, and may Allah subhanahu wa taala be pleased with him, and the many other distortions in creed, in manners, in fiqh, in very strange jurisprudent opinions, etc. Creed, methodology, fiqh. What else is there in the religion? Even manners. Because Ahl Sunnah, for example, we don't believe in the temporary marriage, where these people believe you can just make a contract for 30 minutes, call that a marriage, but we consider that a type of fornication. That was abrogated in the beginning of Islam. And they believe that the Ummahat al-Mu'mineen, that the mothers of the believers, like Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, was a uh, adulteress. وَعِيَادُ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلَكَ وَرَزَانِيَ And they curse her. They have celebrations revolving around cursing her. And these are other extremist going beyond the bounds and understanding of the Sharia into new philosophical ideologies which are based upon heretical philosophical opinions. And not only that, just based on pure batal, pure falsehood. And so we ask that Allah the Almighty guides those people amongst them who are innocent and have no idea about the the wicked creed that they follow. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala curse their imams, belittle them, change their faces, and protect us from their evil and their harm and wipe them off the face of the earth so that the true religion of Islam can shine forth and be protected from innovation and distortion 
from people who are wicked innovators. And we ask that Allah the Almighty protects us from any and all forms of evil. And may Allah bless the Muslims everywhere. And may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala forgive the Muslims everywhere. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from those extremist people of violence like the Khawarij and Jamaat Takfir wa Hijra and the other groups, Al Qaeda and other uh, innovated groups that go against the Sharia of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who kill innocent people which Islam is free from, and we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects and preserves his religion from this distortion. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.